What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to address the fact that the Avalon Nano 3s have an issue. And I think I have solved it or band-aided this issue. Band-aided. So if you guys didn't know, the original Canon Avalon 3s don't like heat they run a little hot some people open them up put extra heat sinks on you know i ended up putting mine uh into a box and forcing air through them and they ran okay they ran better um but it's a lot simpler than that you notice they're just sitting here running perfectly fine both of these units were never stable running by themselves on their side hold on let me see if i can like this, like they, like how they're designed to run. Somebody told me, they said, hey, USB side, USB side down. Let's see, there's the USB, uh, right there. Put them up vertically. I don't believe you can do this with the Avalon Nano 3S because the S model has a, uh, a tilt sensor in it, I believe, I'm not sure. I'll, ch I'll test mine here shortly but you can with the regular Avalon Nano 3s. So the main issue with these is apparently the power delivery where the USB power comes in, and right now it's at the bottom. Uh, there's a chip right there or something that gets hot, and then power fluctuates, it cuts the miner off or it loses power. That's why if you set it down to low or medium, they do run a little bit better because they're not getting as hot. But when you have them sideways, the heat kind of saturates right there. Well, my buddy told me, flip it vertically. And I'm like, okay, just make sure that USB is at the bottom. Because now that chip that has the, all the issues is at the bottom. Well, naturally, heat rises. So it rises up, and as it rises up, it's being forced out by the fans. Since I have placed these two vertically, not a single problem. They're actually running better than ever. These were units that I had to run on low. They wouldn't run stable uh, on medium or high. They've been on medium now for a little over two weeks. Haven't missed a beat. I don't have extra air blowing on them. They're actually out in my garage where it's super hot because uh, it's still the summertime here in North Carolina on the East Coast. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's the secret. Now, if you've already overheated yours and you've heard it, then this is not gonna fix it. But if you still have one of these, and you don't have any problems with it, I suggest running them in this orientation. So make sure that USB side is on the bottom and flip it vertically, or you know, have it running vertically like that, and then they just run. So I'll log into my dashboard and show you guys my like 24 hour, six hour average. Uh, I'm running both of these on medium. I'm thinking about stepping them up to high, but uh, I was just amazed that they're even running stable on medium in my garage with no extra additional air. So, yeah. Now, obviously, if you wanna open them up and put heat sinks on and replace thermal paste and put extra fans on, all those kind of things help too. But this is a Band-Aid or a solution that takes nothing extra. You just, a little bit extra time to flip it vertically and let it go. Now, I do, the first thing I do on all my Nanos is take the little plastic covers off. There's little covers that go on the front and the back. You can just pull them off, pop them off. I don't leave those on uh, because it just blocks airflow. And those things need the airflow. So with that being said, let's go jump on the computer and show you my averages. All right, guys. So there's my Nano 3 and the blue. Those are the two that are out in the garage. Um, one's running at 3.5. The other one's running at 2.7. This is my older one. They're both running on medium. But um, yeah, one of them's obviously running better than the other. So I'm gonna put those both up, both up to high and see how they do. But you can see my six hour average, 12 hour average, and then the 24 hour average, 3.1 versus 2.7. And then the, uh, the, where is it? I have another one. Oh, there it is. So Nano 3 Master Bath, uh, 1.9, uh, 2.6, 2.68, 2.65. That one is not running vertically and it is running um, on medium. So it is actually performing under what the other two are and they're outside, whereas that one's inside. And inside my house, we like to keep it right around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. So these two units are running in the heat. That one's running in the AC. These are vertical, that one's not. So 
so far, vertical is winning. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed is uh, the horizontal one that's inside every now and then will go down, whereas these two have not. So anyway, you can take that with a grain of salt. And uh, you know what? If you got one, try it. Try it and then comment down below and let me know how your unit's been running. I'd love to hear from other people. So anyway, guys, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.